Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to make a quick uh, inspirational video. I've been wanting to make it for a couple weeks now. Um, so I know a lot of us go through hard times, some drama here and there, and um, for the past couple months I've been dealing with some really heavy, dark shit in my life, and uh, I kind of turned away from my normal everyday situations from the stuff you know that I normally do and um, I used to be a vegetarian for like three years straight and I started eating meat again and it made me feel really horrible it threw my whole body out of whack uh, and it you know, when, when your system doesn't feel right, you don't feel right. Your mind feels horrible. You can't concentrate on certain things. And you don't realize that type of stuff until you actually fuck it up. So, um, you know, it was one of those type of things where you walk into the kitchen and you open the refrigerator and you see something that you really want to eat and you eat it. Um, so... That's what I had been doing for about six months straight. And, you know, even if it wasn't just eating meat, it was, you know, eating french fries for the day or eating cookies for breakfast or, you know, eating applesauce for dinner or just Doritos as a dinner. Um, you know, it was not a healthy diet. And I hope you all understand that you know, the definition of diet isn't, um, you know, the Atkins diet. It just means having a, a steady uh, condition of food. Um, you know, making sure that your nutrition is nutritional. Um, you know, like, for instance, I'm trying to get back on track, so... I ate some grapes for breakfast. And, um, I know that's not like a ton, it's not like having an egg or, you know, toast or anything, but you know, this is kind of a slow process to get all of my intestines and my stomach and everything back on track. So, uh, grapes versus uh, chips and salsa, it's a little bit better for me. So, um, I hope that uh, you all understand kind of what I'm going through with the whole diet thing. Um, it threw me out of line. I shouldn't have done it. And um, the only reason I did it was because it was convenient for me to eat meat. Because my parents were eating meat. And because they were cooking it, I happened to be in the household, and I was being really lazy. And I didn't want to have to cook anything for myself. A lot of the time, uh, vegetarian food or pescatarian food is, you know, takes a little bit longer to cook. And I should have just, you know, stuck true and been a little more hardcore, because I am and I can be. And, you know, if that requires me to cook for 20 minutes, then I should do it. But, um, starting over, uh, since September the 18th, I have been pescatarian, and I don't plan on looking back. Um, there is also another thing, uh, because of the rougher times through these past few months. Um, I've been dealing with some stuff. Uh, I started smoking cigarettes and I know it's not healthy for my body so I planned on stopping. Um, honestly, and I know this is a really stupid idea, I knew that I was going through some hard times and so I had tried a number of different solutions like meditation and yoga and journaling and reading self-help books and going to self-help meetings with my mom and my sister 
and I see a psychologist and you know that's about eight things right there um, I'm not saying that they didn't help I'm just saying that I felt as altogether they weren't helping me enough and so just to add on one more thing I started smoking cigarettes and I told myself that whenever all of this drama started to settle down I would quit smoking because I felt like I needed a little bit of free time I felt like each cigarette was a little bit of time for me to think to myself and I felt like it gave me a little bit of freedom you know to just walk away from the real world and get my little world away from home or whatever and uh, I honestly thought it would work and as of September the 18th, it has. So I'm not smoking anymore. I'm back on track with my diet. And it has helped me. So um, I don't really get nicotine cravings. Um, I quit cold turkey. And it makes me feel better in my mind knowing that um, hopefully... Uh, this video will inspire some of you out there, you know, friends and family on Facebook or, um, you know, just any YouTuber, any Joe Schmo on the street who's watching YouTube, uh, who does smoke, to take a second look at your life and what you're doing and think about the consequences because smoking can kill you that's why the Surgeon General has to put that little warning on the side of the package and even though I didn't plan on smoking for a long time even though I did plan on quitting you know I could have been just like any one of you and gotten caught up in the race of things so um, it's not a healthy habit and I plan to be a healthy person so um, Anyways, this is an inspirational video to all of you, to myself. Um, these are things I've changed about myself recently. And I would like to encourage you all out there on the interwebs that um, encourage you to maybe pick a couple things about yourself. You know, look at yourself in your honesty mirror and uh, pick some things about yourself whether it's 10 or 1 and think about something that you could honestly change and those were the two that I had planned on changing since the couple months ago where I was just like I don't give a fuck about my life right now you know I'm gonna concentrate on my drama get it done with and then I'm gonna change those things and those are the two things that I wanted to change those are the two things that I have changed now I can set some more goals and focus on them so Take a look in your honesty mirror, set some goals for yourself, and maybe you can leave me a comment, uh, let me know what your honesty goals are. Also, if you have any advice that you need from me, or uh, that you've been looking for and you just can't find the courage to ask your mom or your friends, uh, if you want to leave a comment down in the bar below, I would love to you know, give you some honest advice. I'm studying for my psychology degree in college and I feel like maybe I might be the right person to ask. So I hope you all really enjoyed this inspirational video and um, get something out of it. Got pap?